everyone and welcome back to my channel in which I'm going to be filming my first few days back at university. In case you're new here, I'm a master's student at Coventry University studying applied psychology which, well, we'll talk about in a little bit. But today is the 21st of January and it's my first day back at uni. It's currently almost two o'clock and I have had one lecture this morning, which I was gonna get up and film for you guys, but I've really been struggling to get up in the morning. So that kind of got put on hold and I thought I'd just catch up with you now. I've made myself a pot noodle, chicken and mushroom, of course, because I'm a health queen and we love to see it, not. And I thought I'd just catch you up with what's happened this morning and where I'm at and just introduce you to this semester as I'm sort of introducing myself to it as well. So this morning I had a counselling psychology lecture. It was really interesting. We went through all the different roles that are associated with that. So we spoke about the role of a clinical psychologist, a psychiatrist, psychoanalyst if that's how you pronounce it. We spoke about all of those and different career options which I always like listening to even though I'm pretty set on what I want to do it's always good to explore other avenues as well and that is obviously one of my modules this term alongside research methods in psychology which if you've watched previous videos you are going to know that is not my strong point at all I hate it however this term it's qualitative rather than quantitative so that means no numbers which I'm a bit more of a fan of still not entirely there and loving it I wouldn't ever say that I love research methods but I do find qualitative a little bit easier I also have a module in ethical and professional issues in psychology a module on independent research projects aka dissertation aka how and a module on clinical psychology which the clinical psychology module and the counselling psychology module are definitely the two that a drew me to the course and b i'm going to enjoy the most in terms of content so that's me for this semester i do have another lecture this afternoon 4 p.m till 6 p.m as i said it's currently two so i've got two hours until my next lecture and that's the one in ethical and professional issues in psychology so my plan now is to sit here eat my pot noodle i then need to pop to the post office because i've got a few things to post for charlie and also a few things to post for myself so i'll be going on a little walk but i'm obviously not going to make it too long because i need to get back in time for my lecture so then i'll come back have a little snack do my lecture and I also need to write a to-do list before I leave so that I know what I want to do this evening but I just thought I'd catch you guys up and let you sort of know where I'm at to start the video off with and yeah I just hope to have a bit of a productive day today that's pretty much it so I'll catch up with you all in a little bit Whilst eating my lunch I caught up on one of Saffron Barker's latest videos and then wrote myself a to-do list to set myself up for the day before heading out, I wrapped up a few things to take to the post office and after sending them, I managed to walk a short but sweet 4 kilometres. After returning home, I completed a live lecture for my Ethics and Professional Issues in Psychology module. This particular lecture was all about reflective practice and it was a good recap of some of the skills that we learnt during our undergraduate degrees. I then decided to quickly fill in my weekly planner as I had a few extra things come up that I wanted to note down before I forgot them. And just like that, it's the evening. It is currently 6.43, so basically quarter to seven. And I've not long finished my last lecture of the day, which I'm not gonna lie was a little bit of a drag and a little bit confusing. It was all about sort of reflective practice, which I feel like by this point, every psychology student has covered to death. But it was good to sort of get a basic understanding of the assignment and by basic, I mean very basic. So I'm still quite confused about that, but Hopefully that's something that is going to change. Within the next 24 hours, I've now just come back to have a look at my to-do list and I've only managed to tick three things off, which is a bit disappointing, but I think first day back at uni, I've just been so focused around all of my lectures that I haven't really thought about anything else. So I've managed to update my planner, which is something that I really want to keep on top of this year. I've released a timesheet from work because I did a shift yesterday, so I needed to release that so I can get my money would love to see it and I've been to the post office which is something that I did on my walk this afternoon but I still have lots of other things to do and I'll briefly run through them because there's quite a list read information for each module that's been put up on onto Aula which is what our university uses as like their version of Moodle 
I'd like to make pages for each of my assignments. So at the start of each term, what I like to do once I've read through the Aula information is to sort of condense it down into a Word document for each module or for each assignment and figure out exactly what it is I need to do, write a few bullet points of any initial ideas. So I need to make those assignment pages. This isn't a to-do list for tonight, this is a to-do list for the next few days and over the weekend, so that should get done at some point then. I need to email somebody about my dissertation and I'd also like to organise a meeting with my supervisor. I also need to edit the weekly vlog which will be last week's weekly vlog to when you're watching this so feel free to come and check that out because that should be already be up. I need to wash my work uniform because I haven't done that since yesterday and I've got a shift on Sunday that I need to prepare for. I need to book an appointment at Boots for my hepatitis B vaccination. I need to transfer over some pictures from my camera to my phone, give a little update on my walking challenge from Land's End to John O'Groats and I also would like to start a diary for my healthcare assistant job. So. The plan is now, it's quarter to seven as I said. I'm gonna get changed out of this, probably just into my pajamas for the rest of the evening. Head downstairs, start cooking some dinner, and then come back upstairs and see what I can get ticked off as a do list for the rest of the evening. I'm hoping it's gonna be a slightly productive evening, but also slightly chill. We always watch something with our dinner, so I think we might be watching Big Bang Theory with that. We're currently on season eight, maybe quarter of the way through, I don't know going well let me know what you're watching down below in the comments give any netflix recommendations amazon prime recommendations drop them all down there that's about it really just thought i'd let you know where i'm at before i carry on with my evening so as i said after getting changed i decided it was time to head downstairs and start decorating the little mini pizzas that we were going to be having for dinner i absolutely love these as a quick and easy dinner they're so easy to make and also so cheap to buy in the supermarkets we ate these whilst watching the big bang theory as per usual and then i spent the rest of my evening editing the winter recipe video which has already gone live on my channel so please feel free to go and check that out i'll leave my link down below in the description box Friday morning started with me making Charlie a cup of tea before deciding that I actually fancied some cereal which is a little bit unusual as I'm not much of a breakfast person but then I decided to make it anyway and proceeded to spill the milk all over the countertop which we absolutely love to see but I soon cleaned it up and also decided to have this cereal with one of my favourite smoothies from Marks and Spencers. If you get the chance to try this definitely do I'd 100% recommend. We then headed out to the shops and decided to go to B&M and Asda this week for our weekly shopping trip. Good evening everyone. I haven't picked up the camera all day long other than to film a few little clips. I woke up this morning thinking that I had a lecture at 10 o'clock and a lecture at 4 o'clock but they actually both turned out to be workshops. Our workshops don't actually start until the second week back at the university which meant I actually had the day off today which was very much appreciated and I did intend to watch some of the lectures and make sense of the assignments. However, we actually had an order be delivered from the range because we decided to start redecorating our living room a little bit and just adding in a little bit of colour. So we needed to get a few bits to go alongside that. So it was time to do a B&M shop, which I was very excited about. I absolutely love B&M. And then after we went to B&M, we decided to go to Asda to do our food shop. We actually didn't take any bags to go to Asda with because we obviously wasn't planning on going. So all of the food has just been yeeted into the back of the car. And I'm just going to give you a quick haul, but in no particular order because we obviously didn't bag it up. So first things that we picked up were actually some homey bits. As I said, we were going to redecorate our living room. And we are going for an injection of yellow so we picked up this little vase I don't know how well you can see but it's kind of beehive -y. and then we also picked up a tiered lampshade and a blanket but I will be showing you the living room transformation later on in this vlog so going on to food because that's all we picked up healthy wise I picked up some honey roast ham and I also picked up some corn chicken free slices if you've watched my 2021 resolutions video you'll know that I want to start eating less meat and these were on rollback which I've been waiting for. I'm going to try these to see how I get on with them but if they're absolutely disgusting then I hate them. I've bought this as a little backup which will get eaten anyway because Charlie doesn't really like eating this sort of stuff so I bought both of those to give them a try. 
I've bought some corn cups house sausages, which I had last week as well and absolutely loved. I really enjoyed these. So I've got some more of those. I then picked up some salad bits. So we've got some tomatoes, a cucumber, some lettuce, some spinach. I've then also got some bread rolls. I've got sweet corn, corn on the cob, and chicken burgers to go with sweet potato. We're gonna have chicken burgers and sweet potato wedges this week. I then also picked up some mushrooms, some peas, and some plant-based meatballs. I'm planning on making a pasta with these this week. So I'm gonna use pasta, tomato sauce, some of the mushrooms, some of the spinach. I've also picked up a pepper. And I'm just gonna try these out and see how they go. There, are, there is quite a lot in here. There's three, six, nine, twelve. So maybe the rest I can put into a little salad. That might be quite nice. I then picked up a bag of small potatoes for to have some roasties with. I've then got some chicken sausages, which we all know that I love. I've also got some meat-free ones in the freezer to try as well, but these were reduced to £1.34. And because we love them, I didn't want to turn them down. I've got some mashed potato. Um, and then I'll bring you over here and show you some other things that I picked up. Please excuse the absolute terrible angle. You've got full view of all of my chins right now. But we also picked up a loaf of bread to have sandwiches with for lunches. We got some sweet clems. I like these a lot and I'll be taking them to work with me as well. We've got some lemons because I want to make a lemon drizzle cake this week. A fresh broccoli, some OJ, some vegetable gravy because we are running out. And then we got a spare, I don't know what you call it. It's like a change of head for our mop. We've got a spray mop and these are the things that attach onto the end. So we've got another one of these because we needed one. We've got some mini rolls and we've got some light bulbs because as you may know, this bulb has blown and it's taken me about a week to get that replaced. So I've got some light bulbs for that kitchen light. And that is everything that I picked up in Asda today. I just thought I'd give you a quick haul. And now I'm going to go and show you the before of the living room. Because I really like it how it is now. But we're just getting a bit bored of it. So we wanted to inject some colour into it as I said. And we really like the colour yellow. And obviously the basis of our living room at the minute is grey and white. So I think yellow ties in quite nicely. And it's going to be really nice for spring as well. So I'm going to go and show you a before little pan of the living room. And then we'll get working on the after. So this is the before of our living room if you like. So we've got the TV stand. We've got a horrible grey rug, which I absolutely hate. We did have a really, really nice one when we first moved in, but it was white and Charlie spilled everything on it and it just needed to go. So this was just a cheap replacement for Christmas. We've got the puff or the footstool, whatever you want to call that. We've got our sofa here. Then we've moved the billy here, as I said. And we've got a coffee table there. I've bought Charlie an orchard, which is probably half dead because we have no idea how to look after it. And then we've got lots of mirrored things on display in the Billy bookcase. We've got the photo frames at the back with just pictures of us and all of our families in it. And then the lamp is over there. I have got my scrapbooking stuff there and loads of crap on top by the seams of it. Um, and then inside of there is just, again, a cupboard just filled with loads of crap. So that's our living room now. Because <laughs> you just look funny. Wow! I don't know, just standing on there. Here struggling to reach. Here comes the breath. <laughs> All dressed in yellow. Do, 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 do. Oh! <laughs> Is that it? You see that? Yeah. Is it everywhere? Woo! <laughs> That's enough now. <laughs> Hello again guys, it's been a long time no speak since I last updated you. I think the last thing you saw was the living room transformation, which after spending the evening in there, I'm really happy with. The only thing I don't like is the lampshade, which is literally making me feel sick thinking about it. Someone call my nan and tell her to come and pick that up because it just does not belong in this house. But regardless, it's now 10 past 11 
and since then we've had dinner we've sat down and we've watched two episodes of holby city we've had quite a housey evening tonight child is still doing a little bit of tidying and i've come into the bedroom to start editing one of my vlogs this is a weekly vlog that i'm editing so that's the plan for this evening i'm sorry i haven't caught up with you in between it's just been quite a chilled but house tidy evening i'm hoping tomorrow can be a little bit more productive because i've not really done anything uni wise today because i was just like oh, day off woohoo tomorrow i'm hoping to go through all of my assignments and finalize when all of my lectures and workshops are ready for next week so i'll be sure to let you know my timetable and yeah i'll leave it at that for this evening and catch up with you in the morning good night Saturday morning was spent finalising the edit of my weekly vlog video and then finally uploading it onto YouTube before deciding to have lunch and head out on what was kind of a ridiculously long walk but as you know I am taking part in a virtual challenge of walking a distance from Land's End to John O'Groats and so this really helps to get the miles in. Hello again everybody for the first time in what feels like a long time. I've really not been filming anything today because I just don't think there's anything for me to film. I've not done anything uni related at all. I think going back to uni has just sort of, I don't want to use the word triggered, but I really can't think of any other word. I just think it's triggered like some uncomfortable feelings in me because I was not having the best time last semester. I really wasn't, I've touched on that. And I'm just a bit nervous about starting back to be honest and think unconsciously i'm putting off doing anything uni related because i'm just in denial that term started regardless i just wanted to pop on here and say that i'm not really going to be filming anything this evening because it's now nine o'clock and my plans for the evening are just pretty basic i'm gonna watch one of my lectures for clinical psychology because it's a module i'm most excited about and then i'm also just going to edit the last little bit of wednesday's video and then head off to bed because i've got a long day of work ahead of me tomorrow as i've got a long day shift but i just wanted to tell you all about my university timetable because i've got to get some sort of uni content in here somewhere i've now finally figured out exactly what it is i'm doing exactly when i'm doing it so i'm in uni on thursdays and fridays on thursdays i have a counseling lecture from 10 a.m till 11 I then have that workshop from one till three and a combined ethics lecture and workshop from four till six. And then on Friday, I have a research methods workshop from 10 till 12 and a clinical psychology workshop from four till six, which then obviously begs the question of where are my research methods and clinical psychology lectures? Well, as I just mentioned, I'm gonna watch one now at nine o'clock on the evening. So they are actually pre-recorded. I'm actually going to say goodnight to you guys now and not pick you back up again until Monday because, as I said, I've got a long day shift tomorrow. By the time I get home, I will be shattered and I'll be going straight to bed. So there's no point in me recording anything from Sunday. So I'm going to see you all on Monday and I hope that I'm going to be a lot more productive uni-wise and we'll be able to give you a little bit more of a lowdown on how this semester is. Hello there everyone, it is Sunday evening and I know I said I wasn't going to pick you guys up till Monday however it has snowed all day today here in Coventry and well I've been at work all day as I said so I'm absolutely gutted that I didn't get to take part in the snow antics so we're going to get changed even though I'm tired after my shift and we're going to head out and have a little bit of fun in the snow. I really want to make the most of it even though I'm tired and pained because I've literally had the shift from how I was involved in my first restraint today and after the first one it was literally restraint after restraint after restraint. It's just not been a nice shift. It was a it, I've never worked on that board before I think I mentioned that and it was just so violent and there wasn't a single minute of the day where I felt safe even though like everyone that's there is obviously trained in restraint and if you know you are getting attacked like you know that other people know what they're doing so I'm not feeling the best but I came on to say that even though I wasn't going to talk to you I'm not talking to you because I'm going in the snow and I just want to take a few clips of it. <laughs> oh my god, he looks really good. <laughs> Made a snowball. Oh, I think. 
Fuck yeah, is it for me? Monday morning was kickstarted off with some frosties, some orange juice and a sweet clam, absolutely love those. I then put on a load of washing before deciding to have a shower, wash my hair and just get all nice and fresh. After my shower it was time to carry on with some of my skincare. During the shower I used the facial foaming wash from the Bootsies Witch Hazel and Tea Tree range and then two to three times a week we'll use the exfoliating pads which you just saw me use. I then used the Vitamin C Facial Mist from the Body Shop and then finally finished with moisturising. I'm currently using the Nivea Moisturiser for face, hands and body. It just makes things a lot simpler having products that can do more than one thing. After doing my skincare, I got myself dressed and wrapped up to go out and start playing in the snow with Charlie. It was so much fun, we had an absolute laugh. It was eventually time to start work, so I lit myself a lavender wax melt and then decided to go through my notepad in which I take my lecture notes and switch over all of the old labels for my previous modules for labels for my new modules, just so that I knew exactly where everything was. I started off working by watching one of the pre-recorded lectures for my clinical psychology module. This one was just an overview to the module. Pretty simple, straightforward, but it's always good to introduce you to things like the assignment for this semester. Then I randomly remembered that I had to ring the pharmacy so that I could arrange to book my final dose of my hepatitis B vaccinations, something which I'm really not looking forward to. So Charlie decided to cheer me up by making me lunch and for whatever reason, this waffle is what I had for lunch. To be honest, I'm not even mad about it. Time was getting on a little bit so I decided to head out on my walk for the day before it got too dark and then upon returning watch the final pre-recorded lecture that I needed to catch up on for my clinical psychology module. This particular one was on clinical presentations and measures and I actually found it really interesting. We started investigating the idea of clinical formulation and diagnosis and then we later discussed this in the workshop during that week. And a very good evening everybody. I think this is actually the first time I've stood here and spoken to you today. I think it's all just been voice clips up until now. I don't know what it is, I'm just absolutely exhausted. Obviously yesterday I didn't have a very enjoyable shift and regardless it's a long shift anyway but I just feel so much more tired than normal to be honest i feel really really like just worn out but i still got a few bits done today as you would have probably seen i also got a few extra bits done that i didn't film for you guys because i couldn't so i've been doing some banky stuff this morning which i'm really not very good at so that took me a little bit of time i've done little nitty gritty things like cancelling my audible membership but i've now got my dressing gown on and i've come downstairs to start cooking dinner i actually haven't got any of my ingredients out yet but i am planning on cooking meatballs and pasta however as you may know i'm trying to reduce my meat consumption so i picked up these plant-based meatballs in asda i did have to freeze them here they are i did have to freeze them and defrost them because when i bought them i didn't realize that they were going out of date literally the next day and i wasn't ready to eat them so i'm going to cook some of these tonight in a little pasta sauce with some pasta obviously and I've got a few veggies to throw in there. And I'm just excited to try it. I've been really enjoying trying some meat-free products. So I just thought I'd catch up with you guys, really. I know I've done voiceover clips, but I haven't spoken to you all day. And yeah, just to let you know that I'm going to start cooking dinner now. And I don't know what I'm going to be doing after dinner because I am very, very tired. I don't know if more work is on the agenda or not, but we will soon see. So let's cook dinner and I'll catch up with you afterwards.
again guys i would usually apologize for the lighting in this clip but it's probably best that you can't see me right now i'm having quite a poorly day on the sofa i'm cuddled up in my blanket i'm watching sidonelle on youtube i've had some strawberries and bananas for breakfast and that's about it really i just thought whilst i was lying here i would finish off editing this vlog as i do actually need to get it uploaded today and I have noticed after watching it back through that I didn't tell you guys about my assignments this semester. Just briefly outlining them. There are a range of vlogs, which is a bit weird. <laughs> Mock counselling sessions and standard assignments in the form of like case formulations and stuff. But I'll definitely talk about them in a bit more detail in like future videos when I'm actually working on them. So do make sure that you are subscribed so that you don't miss out on those. And other than that, thank you very, very much for watching this video. If you've made it all the way to the end, congratulations because this is a slightly longer one than I would usually upload. But I feel like there was just a lot to fit in. It was quite a hectic week, even though it was quite quiet at the same time. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, as always, then please don't forget to give it a like, comment and subscribe down below. And I look forward to seeing you all very soon in the next video. Bye.